Did Clinton, do you have any direct knowledge that Clinton had, uh, was aware of the drug operation coming into Arkansas? Uh, the direct knowledge is that uh, Buddy Young was actually a uh, advisor to Clinton. He was his chief of security, and he was one on board the aircraft, and he was sent there uh, by Clinton to investigate the loss of monies that had been determined. Uh, additional direct knowledge comes in the fact that uh, one of the people called by Barr uh, was the governor of Arkansas on that SATCOM. He called North, he called the vice president from during on this 24th of March uh, conversation, and he called the governor of Arkansas and talked to him. So, uh, and governor of Arkansas then was William Jefferson Clinton. So they were talking about the enterprise, about the lost monies. Uh, and additionally, in, in earlier years, and when I was at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, I actually flew uh, several missions carrying medical coolers again uh, with money and drugs in it into uh, Arkansas. Out of where? Fort Campbell? Out of Fort Campbell. It was delivered to us by the 324th Med Battalion. Out of the South America? Out of South America. Uh, they, they were operating in the South America in, in Honduras. It was flown by C-130 to Fort Campbell. It was marked medical supplies. Donor organs, this particular one, was marked. Um, and we were advised to give it to Dr. Lassiter uh, at uh, Little Rock Air Force Base. So we flew it to Little Rock Air Force Base. I opened the cooler. Was, I, don't op I don't fly a cooler without opening it. I don't fly anything without opening it. Let me tell you why I don't fly coolers without opening them. I was told by Colby earlier that uh, Torrijos died simply because they put a... Uh, Donor organ, uh, cooler marked donor, donor organs on his aircraft that blew up in flight. So whenever I see a cooler, I open that cooler. And what did you find in the cooler? We found a, a large sum of money and three co kilos of cocaine in one cooler. In the other cooler, we found uh, all cocaine. Uh, those two coolers were picked up by Dr. Lassiter, who actually ended up being, as we found out in later years, a man named Dan Lassiter, who was convicted for trafficking cocaine in Arkansas. However, he was uh, pardoned by the then governor of Arkansas, Bill Clinton. And uh, did uh, you have any information that Clinton had direct knowledge of that? No, you flew him into Arkansas. Was, was Clinton there waiting for it, or was there a limousine there or anything like that? We had to wait over an hour and a half uh, for Dr. Lasseter to show up. But when he finally showed up, he showed up in an entourage of vehicles. There was a van, there was a stretch limo, and uh, an unmarked police car. Uh, in, in the coming out of the uh, stretch limo, uh, Dr. Lassiter came forward. Uh, he had two people with him. One stayed at the car and one came over. He introduced uh, the one uh, that walked over to, with, to uh, the aircraft to pick up the coolers as uh, the governor of Arkansas. And the governor of Arkansas extended his hand, and that's the first time I shook the hand of uh, William Jefferson Clinton. He, let, he wanted to let me know that the people of Arkansas appreciated me bringing those uh, donor organs. It, 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 oh, that good. He, he didn't know you'd looked into it. He huh? didn't know I looked into it. Do you have that in your book? Yes, I do. Yeah, that's in uh, again the Tayden Chronicles, right? Yes.